my look does vary depending on my mood. Sometimes I feel like dressing really androgynous. Sometimes I dress like a tomboy. Sometimes, like lately, I feel like mixing the two together and being a little more feminine. As we're coming into spring, although today it's like 29 degrees in London, I don't know what's going on with the weather. Um, it's quite hot for me. And yeah, it feels like summer, but really we're in spring. And I don't know, since I got my tattoos and since I cut my hair short, I've been really, really feeling more inclined to um, explore my feminine side, which I haven't felt like doing for years. So it's been really fun. I've been buying some new clothes and getting really into skirts and dresses. Um, so I thought today I'd share with you my current go-to look. As I said, it varies, but for the past two weeks, this is what I've been absolutely loving in terms of my hair, my skincare, my makeup. I feel like I've like perfected a beautifully glowy, dewy, youthful looking, really simple makeup. Like I don't really like to wear a lot of makeup, so it's quite minimal, um, but I feel really good in it. And same with this outfit, I feel like this skirt I've just been wearing for like four days in a row. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see it all the time now. Um, and I just love it. So I'm going to share that with you guys. I'm also going to take you through my nails, how I paint my nails. As I said, how I'm curling my hair. You guys have been asking me about my hair lately because I've been wearing it a bit differently. Um, we're going to do that today. In terms of skincare, I keep it super simple. So first up, I cleanse with the Glossier um, Jelly, Milky Jelly Cleanser. It's really simple. I don't love it or hate it. It does the job. And then next up, I started using this product about two months ago and I really have noticed a difference in the texture of my skin and it just feels more like, like it's able to accept moisture. And that is a hyaluronic acid. I think it says a Dr. Saba or something like that. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Um, tried it out and I really, really like it. The way I use this is I put like a pump of it into the palm of my hand, rub it together a little bit to spread it across my hands and then I like swipe it and dab it onto my skin um it goes on really nicely but then it does once it kind of sets into the skin it feels a bit sticky so to compensate for that i use rosehip oil i've nearly run out of my rosehip oil and i think this is my second or third pot of rosehip oil i really rave by it um, i have really sensitive skin with quite a bit of redness and I just find that the rosehip oil is amazing for that. My, my skin just soaks that oil up. Um, every time I use it, I just notice my skin looks glowing and it doesn't have dry patches, which normally I would get around my, the middle of my forehead or on the sides of my cheeks near my nose. Um, but when I'm consistent with my hyaluronic acid and my rosehip oil, I feel like my skin is great. Even before using hyaluronic acid the past two months, I've been using rosehip oil for over a year. Okay, now let's get on to my current go-to makeup. So I've already put on my hyaluronic acid and my rosehip oil, I did that this morning, and yeah, maybe that was about an hour ago. Oh, I also put on my lips um, papaya, what's it called, like Lucas papaya. It's a really great moisturizer. It's an all-purpose moisturizer. It's kind of like a petroleum balm type thing, and I love putting that on my lips. Um, but to get started for the look I'm going for today, which is what I've been doing all week and it is just so glowy, I'm going to start by putting another little serum on my face. This is Glossier's Super Glow Vitamin C and Magnesium Serum. Um, this is really runny. It's not the kind of serum that's going to be gloopy like the hyaluronic acid. This is like water. So I just put like two drops and that is it on my hand because sometimes I put a bit more and it's just unnecessary. Rub it in between my hands and then dab it onto my face. And this just gives the most amazing glow paired in with the other products I'm gonna use. Um, I had dinner with my friend on Friday night and she was like, because I was telling her I'm so tired, I feel like my eyes are like down to my chin. That's how tired I felt because I had a six day work week this week which is not normal I don't normally do that but on this occasion I did my eyes were so tired and she was looking at me like um how is this you tired you look so fresh and I swear it's because of these products because I put all of these on on Friday morning and then Friday night I went for dinner and I still looked fresh I was amazed next up I'm going to put on Glossier's Invisible Shield this also just adds such an amazing glow um, and sheen and makes your face look all like oily and fresh um, but this is the sun cream, which is definitely needed. I'm just going to put a few pumps of that in my hand. And this is SPF 35. Um, so that is definitely needed right now because of the sun. I know you should use an SPF all year round, but I'm terrible and I don't. 
But when it's sunny, I do because I burn so easily. And with all of my skincare products, I wipe them on my hands, just whatever I've got left over. Um, just, I guess, to keep your hands looking nice, looking nice and moistured. It's just a great way to get rid of the product on your hands as well. Um, next up, I'm gonna use, I've been using this for so long, guys. How long have I been using this for? A year and a half? Do you think that's about right? Probably this summer, we're going into the two year mark. I love it. It's the NARS um, Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. And this actually has lasted me so well. Maybe it's only a year rather than two years because I haven't repurchased this. I don't wear makeup every day though, so maybe that's why. I probably only wear makeup like two or three times a week. I'm just gonna rub it in between my fingers and put it on. Um, next up, I'm just gonna use some concealer, which is the Glossier um, Stretch Concealer. It's a really good concealer, and I know normally people put it under their eyes. I like to put it on my the bottom of my cheek because I never wear blusher because I have so much pink in my cheeks. But just taking the pinkness a little bit away from the bottom of my jawline, I always do. I'm feeling super hot right now, so I am actually going to use it under my eyes as well. Um, but that's I'm not using it under my eyes because I feel hot. I just went into two thoughts in one go. Okay, I never used to contour, but just feel like sometimes you need a little bit of a mm, you know. This is the KKW Beauty Contour Stick. I got this like a year ago. Rarely use it, but this week I've been using it and I think it looks nice. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on my cheeks here. Um, I don't put it anywhere else. I actually don't own a bronzer, so I think if I owned a bronzer, maybe I would use that. I, I like creamy products rather than powder products, just because I think they give more of a glow. But if you had any kind of like creamy bronzer contour thing, you could just do this with like a beauty blender. Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I ran out of this, so I didn't use it for about seven months. Recently got my hands on another one and I forgot how good it is. Um, I'm just gonna really lightly go over my brows a little bit and I'm gonna have to just lean closer to my mirror for this one, guys, because I can't really see. I'm just gonna take the spoolie at the other end and just brush it out a little bit. So, that's the brow situation. Um, I haven't been wearing mascara for months, and I don't know, I've been kind of tempted to wear it again lately, but I'm gonna hold out because I kind of like how it looks without mascara. I mean, if you guys watch my videos from the past couple months, you'll notice I haven't had mascara on. And I think that when I have my glasses on, my eyes look like tiny peas, but I just ordered some contact lenses because we're going away next week, actually. I don't know when you guys are gonna watch this. Maybe I'm already away, but we're going away next Saturday for two weeks. We're going to split in Croatia, then we're going to Bosnia, then we're going to Montenegro, and then we're going to um, Milje, which is like a tiny island back in Croatia off of Dubrovnik, and then we're going to Dubrovnik. We fit all of that into two weeks. I promise it's possible. And of course, we're gonna be vlogging the whole thing. Um, but I really wanted to get some contact lenses for the trip because my glasses are a bit broken and they're bugging me. Um, just to go over my brows and give them some more texture, of course, I'm going in with Glossier Boy Brow. This is like, I think this might be everyone's Holy Grail brow product. I think at the moment I look like I have brows and that's it. Um, okay, we're now going to um, spritz my face just to set everything. On camera, do my eyebrows look really dark or am I just getting used to them? I feel like I look kind of tanned as well. I think it's been sunny, although I have been wearing I promise I've been wearing SPF, but anyway, I'm just going to spray my face with a touch of Luminous Tree Skin Mist because this kind of sets your face and I think this has also contributed to making sure that by the end of the day, <coughs> excuse me, by the end of the day I still look kind of glowy. So I'm just giving this a shake up. This product's kind of expensive, but I mean, I think I've still got a fair amount of it left. Would I repurchase it? Maybe. It works, so. So to finish off, I'm just gonna go in with Glossier's Jam. Now Jam is actually like a quite a dark berry shade. I dropped mine on the floor and it kind of broke. Can you guys see the color of this? It's super, super dark. You can see how it's broken and it's kind of gotten a bit messy. But I would normally wear this in the winter and then I picked it up this week and it was the only one I had um, lipstick I had in my bag. I really felt like putting some lipstick on after lunch. I put this on and I was like, actually this color works really well all year long. So I've been wearing this lately. 
and I've still got a little bit of that lip um, balm that I put on the Papal, uh, Lucas Papal leftover which is really nice because I find these can get a little bit drying if you wear them repeatedly um, they're so easy to apply though like I rave about these Glossier lipsticks and that is my makeup look complete now on to hair um, I picked up this curling wand um, two weeks ago and I love it it's so easy to use I am like a curling newbie like I think last time I curled my hair was a decade ago prior to the last two weeks but this is just really this is like a really simple babyliss styling wand or I don't know what it's officially called I'll put the one that this exact one I bought in the description box below for you guys it's 25 pounds on Amazon which is an absolute bargain but it also came with a glove to stop me burning myself which is great um so to curl my hair let's just turn this on um I need to buy a heat protective spray my god look at my hair now it really does need some curl to it I need to buy a heat protective spray um at the moment I've just been putting oil in my hair because I don't have a heat protectant. It's just okay, whilst that's heating up, I'm gonna section my hair off and I don't put it into too many sections just because I need like to keep it really simple. Literally just gonna put this like this on top of my head and do some underneath and I'm no pro so sometimes I miss pieces but it's just kind of to give my hair some volume and a little bit of texture and wave. Got my sexy glove on. And then this heats up really fast. I'm just gonna hold it in this hand and take a section, which we'll do one this big. And then I curl it away from my head, which, what did I just knock over? I don't know. I've got a new plant in front of me here, guys, and his name is Clarissa. Alan named him. He decided this plant was gonna be called Clarissa and is a boy. And Clarissa's kind of in the way. I'm just gonna curl like this. Hold it for a few seconds. And then kind of gives away. I actually might split that bit into two. See, I'm still learning. I'm gonna speed this whole process up for you guys now because otherwise you're gonna be sitting here for about 25 minutes with me. So let's speed it up. Okay, so there we have it. I then just tuck it behind my ears. I might put some dry texturizing spray in it. But it's just really, really nice to add a little something. And you can see it's so cute here. I'm gonna get my hair cut next week, which I cannot wait for. But I think I'll still put curls on it, even when I've had it cut. I thought I'd show you guys my outfit before I do my nails and show you how I do my nails. Um, this outfit is just Oh, I love it so much. This t-shirt is from And Other Stories and I find what's great about my outfit today is I can mix and match it in so many different ways. Like this red skirt, which is also from And Other Stories, goes with all t-shirts and a huge trend this season, not that you have to follow trends at all, um, but a trend this season that I love is mixing prints. So I've got this blue stripe with this kind of pastel um, pale pink colour. It's kind of like an Acne Studios pink actually. With these blue stripes and then this red floral. I just think it looks really cool together. It might not be to everyone's taste but I love it. You guys know I absolutely love my white common projects. But these are like my new favourite sneakers and I just wear no-show socks with them. I love how they're clunky and kind of like manly and granddad, granddad looking and then they go really well with the like feminine skirt. I think so anyway. So this is like my go-to look. And when it's actually a bit cooler, I'll show you guys what I do. One second. So when it's a bit cooler and I need a little something extra on the arms, I just put on this navy blazer. This blazer has just gotten so much use for me. I wear it in a really androgynous way sometimes. Why has it got so dark? Hold on. There we go. Um, I wear this blazer 
I'm really androgynous sometimes um, and I wear it with like wide leg pinstriped suit trousers which I absolutely love and then pairing it with this I think is really cool and just adds that kind of like a tailored look to like a really feminine skirt which I love so I've actually been wearing this a lot for work the past week and I went out for dinner on Friday night in this kind of outfit I had a black t-shirt on instead of um, this t-shirt, I think this goes really well together. So first up we've got my Loewe puzzle bag in this amazing colour and this is a current season colour so it is still available. I got it on Matches Fashion, I'll link it in the description box for you guys because this colour is divine and look how nice it is with this red and this blue um, and I can kind of wear it like handheld and I think it looks really cool. I can wear it on the crook of my arm and it looks great as well. And then I, I usually wear my puzzle bag crossbody too. Um, I've done a lot of videos on this puzzle bag so if you're interested in more details on that um, you can check them out. They're recently uploaded like a week ago on my YouTube channel. And then the other bag option is my other bag which is my reissue in the small size. Um, I think this is the equivalent of like a 255. And as you can see, I think this is really cute and just adds a different feel to the look again. So I can have it like this, or I can wear it crossbody, or I can kind of just like group the chain and then hold it like by my side. And again, it just adds a really, really nice touch. I love my reissue because when I've dressed kind of androgynous or tomboy in the past, it's been so great for that. I just think it works really well because of the like hard metal chain. But then with something a little bit more feminine for me like this, I just think it's such a cute touch. Okay, now onto my nails. The past few months I've been loving multicolored nails and this is what I've got on my nails this past week. I'm actually gonna paint my nails once I finished filming today, but I just wanted to take you guys through um, what's on my nails because I get so many questions and also what I use um, to make them last long. So these nails are actually seven days old. I paint them last Monday. They've got a little couple bits of chips um, but nothing major apart from my thumb, a little bit of a chip there. Um, so I'll show you guys what I use to make them last long. But these are the colours I've gone for this week. To me, multicoloured nails are so fun. Like if I was wearing a really tailored all black outfit, it's like a pop of colour um, and it really varies how I do them. So this week I've gone for a different colour on each nail and then I just thought these looked really cool together. But sometimes I might do one hand blue, one hand red, Red, or I might even do like two fingers green, two fingers pink, two fingers orange or I'll just go all different. I think it's just about having fun with it. So don't feel like you have to wear all the same nail color. And um, you might feel like it's drawing attention to your hands at first, but you really get used to it. And it's just so fun to have all this character on my hands. So this week's nails are um, they're all Chanel because I just love Chanel nail polishes. Maybe some people think that the quality isn't great in them considering the price, but I'll be honest with you guys, I love the packaging. But this little finger here is 491 Rose Confidential. This colour here is a newer colour and that is called... There we go, now you can see Verde Pastello 590. This is another new one from their collection, which is... 592 Giallo Napoli um, and that's that yellow and then this kind of like pastel purpley pale grey shade um, is called, oh actually it's on the front with this one, 641 Tenderly. Um, these are my older nail polishes that have the writing on the front and then this one here is one, I don't think you can get this anymore, I think they brought this out um, quite a long time ago actually to celebrate the boy bag and this is 555 Blue Boy. I think they look so cool together. So I'm just going to take you through quickly two products I swear by to make my nails last longer. I think firstly because I keep them short that does help stop chipping but also this Sally Hansen Double Duty Top and Base Coat. I've been using this for about a decade now. Um, and I just swear by it, I continuously repurchase it. I put it under the nail polish and over and it just makes them look glossy and last really well. And then I also, for a setting spray to help them dry fast, I use this Elegant Touch Rapid Dry Spray. This is like $3.99 from my local boots. You can get it in all big kind of boots and it dries your nails in like 60 seconds, but I would say give it a good five minutes to make sure they're fully set. And again, I think this just helps to stop chipping over the week. 
So that is my current go-to look. This is the vibe I'm feeling for this summer weather. And I just love it. And as I said, sometimes my mood changes. Sometimes I want to be more androgynous. And if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that because I post outfit pictures nearly daily now of what I'm wearing to work. And I'm really enjoying sharing that with you guys. If you're not following me on Instagram, go check out my account. It's Eva in the city and I just love it there. So yeah, definitely check that out if you want to see more of my outfits and how they vary throughout the week. But this this week it's all been all about this beautiful skirt from And Other Stories. I've got another skirt from And Other Stories on the way. I bought it online and I'm so excited about it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my current go-to look, watching me get ready today, seeing my outfit of the day and how I've been styling this look. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed it because maybe I can make this a more regular thing and show you guys my go-to look maybe at the end of the month or my go-to look for whilst we're on holiday, things like that. So let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you very soon. Bye.